Right now, a man who brought firearms into the state capitol building more than once is back in jail. What jail records are revealing. Also, President Biden offers Israel firm support. The latest on his trip as tensions rise after a deadly explosion at a hospital in Gaza. You're watching News Street Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday. We begin at the state capitol where the man who police say brought a gun into the capitol building twice demanding to see the governor is back in jail. According to jail records, Joshua Plesnick was booked into the Dane County Jail around 10 o'clock last night. He was arrested for a violation of the state's concealed carry law stemming from an incident where he carried a loaded handgun into the Capitol. Plesnick was arrested on October 4th for carrying a loaded handgun into the Capitol without having a concealed carry permit. He then bailed out of jail and returned with an assault-style rifle before being taken into protective custody. Yesterday, he was released from custody and then arrested by Capitol Police for the weapons violation. Plesnick is now prohibited from having a gun and returning to the Capitol building. He is expected to be in court today. The man connected to the shooting death of a 10-year-old from Beloit will be back in court today. Jose Manuel San, San, Sandoval Tenero is accused of leaving his 9-year-old son alone with Aiden Hansen. His son shot and killed Hansen with a gun in the house. Sandoval Tenero is facing charges of endangering the life of a child and possessing a gun without proper registration. We'll find out how he pleads in court. Let's head over to the Weather Center now. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Gary? Well, Mark, we got some sunshine in this morning, but the clouds are starting to roll in. You can see on the live view from the uh, WISC TV Sky Cam, still a little bit of sunshine here. Beautiful fall colors below, but the clouds are starting to thicken up. And as we take a look at the Platteville Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam, you can see more clouds there, as well as some scattered showers starting to move in from the west. Uh, here in Madison right now, we're dry, but the showers are covering parts of southwestern Wisconsin. Some showers moving through Sauk County, up around Baraboo and Reedsburg, and then also a few moving through Grant County between Platteville and Boscobel. These will probably pick up a little bit more in intensity as we head through the afternoon. Six-hour future track radar does show more showers breaking out, but not a continuous rain all afternoon. Uh, current temperatures, 63 right now in Madison, but notice where the showers are starting. Temperatures are starting to drop back into the 50s, so it'll probably will go up another degree or two before those temperatures start to fall. Right now, 64 in Stoughton, 65 in Edgerton, and 64 in Cross Plains and Cross Dane County. Otherwise, look for mostly cloudy skies this afternoon, scattered showers developing. High temperature of 64 and those temperatures dropping back later in the afternoon. And then for tonight, some scattered showers as well with a low temperature of 48. Later on, I'll take a look at how much rain we can expect and when it'll come to an end. All right, Gary, thank you. See you in a few minutes. While war between Israel and Hamas rages on, President Biden is in Israel for meetings. His trip to Jordan was canceled after an explosion at a Gaza hospital, killing hundreds of Palestinians. Ian Lee is following developments in Tel Aviv. President Biden once again promised full U.S. support during meetings with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his war cabinet. As long as the United States stands and we will stand forever, will not let you ever be alone. We're going to make sure we have what you have what you need to protect your people, to defend your nation. The president's trip to Israel comes just hours after a massive explosion at a Gaza hospital. Both sides are blaming each other for the attack that left hundreds of Palestinians dead. Based on the information we've seen to date, it appears the result of an errant rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. Many of the injured were brought to a nearby hospital already overwhelmed with patients. They try to find a safe place, they try to find a shelter, and they have been attacked by a barbaric bombardment. Despite U.S. support, international pressure is mounting on the Israelis to scale back their blistering attacks as the death toll in Gaza climbs past 3,000. But with 1,400 Israelis dead and Hamas still holding about 200 hostages, including women and children, Netanyahu remains defiant. The forces of civilization will prevail for our sake, for your sake, for peace and security in our region and in the world. Anger is spreading across the region. In the Jordanian capital, Amman, protesters tried to storm the Israeli embassy. Many expect that rage to only grow while Israel keeps bombing Gaza. Ian Lee, CBS News, Tel Aviv. 
and reporters traveling with President Biden asked what made him so confident that Israel was not behind the hospital strike, and he said it was data that he's been shown by the U.S. Defense Department. The U.S. State Department is warning Americans to avoid travel to Lebanon. Family members of U.S. government personnel and some non-emergency personnel will be allowed to voluntarily, voluntarily depart the country. The advisory warned that U.S. citizens who do choose to travel to Lebanon should know that the U.S. Embassy may not be able to assist them. The U.S. is imposing sanctions on 10 members of Hamas. The Treasury Department says those sanctions include those associated with Hamas's secret investment portfolio, two senior Hamas officials, a Gaza-based currency exchange, and its operator. Senior Treasury officials plan to travel to the region to continue to coordinate with partners to track, freeze, and seize Hamas-related assets. Meanwhile, in Washington, the House continues to struggle to elect a new Speaker of the House. This says Republicans are divided about who should lead. Jim Jordan says he has no plans to drop out of the race, and he's looking to win over Republicans who currently do not support him. Well, just a little while ago, for the second time, Jordan did not get enough votes to win. He can only afford to lose four votes and still reach the 217 needed to win. I already proven I can get from the most conservative members of the conference to the more modern members of the conference. So got a uh, whole cross section of the conference. It's important that we get the last uh, last few. There's also a growing chorus of people including former Republican House speakers Newt Gingrich and John Boehner calling for the Speaker Pro Tem, Patrick McHenry, to be made temporary speaker. The motion to temporarily empower the Speaker Pro Tem could happen as early as today. Madison's public market project is moving ahead. The Common Council will vote on giving an additional million dollars to the project tomorrow night. This says the Council approved $1.6 million to cover rising costs for the project last night. The building is on North First Street, the old Fleet Services building and men's shelter. It should be open by 2025. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Hundreds of casino workers are on strike. Plus how you can own some rare items from the Wizard of Oz. Those stories coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. It'll be a night of laughter and fun. It's the Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour with comedians Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Jeff Oske. Performing live Saturday, November 4th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, it's Alex Worley, and we're back in studio with Paul Lukowski, president of Tunderland Home Improvements, the exclusive Wisconsin jacuzzi bath remodel dealer. Today, we're talking all things bath and shower remodeling. Paul, great to see you again. Thanks for having me, Alex. How have you been? Well, Paul, I've been experiencing some major life changes. So I've heard, and we're all excited for you. Have you given any thought to your baby shower? You're the shower expert. You got any tips for me? Well, I don't know anything about baby showers, but I do know one or two things about a shower remodel, especially with the jacuzzi shower system. A system? Ooh, that sounds interesting. Tell me more. Well, it's a system because jacuzzi thought of everything. Safety features like grab bars and grab shelves, low threshold entries, handheld shower fixtures. Our jacuzzi system is designed to go together seamlessly. And like you've mentioned before, those beautiful showers are much easier to clean than tile and grout. And as a future parent, that sounds like a major time saver. Yeah, with jacuzzi's antimicrobial technology, silver ions actually eliminate mold and bacteria from growing in your shower, which keeps it much more sanitary. So jacuzzi is using the latest technology to give customers a great experience, and they can leave their shower actually feeling clean. Yeah, Alex, there's nothing worse than trying to feel clean in a dirty shower. I mean, how are you going to feel clean when you're looking at mold? Oh, you're right, and I wouldn't want to expose my family to that either. So I might not be able to help you with your baby shower, but if you'd like to upgrade to a nice jacuzzi shower, Tunderland is just a call away. And we got you a little something. Oh, Paul, thanks so much. And folks, Tunderland has a little something for you too. Check out this month's exciting offers. Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, this October only, it's our Fall Into Savings Sale. Save 60% on bath or shower installations. Plus, no money down, no interest, and no payments for 12 months. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit tunderland.com today. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. 
Like our 9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at papamurphys.com. The moms have a brand new show. Are you having a great time? I'm Mom So Hard Ladies Night. Saturday, November 18th at Ho Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Ho Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. The IRS will test a free electronic tax filing software next year. Arizona, California, Massachusetts, and New York are the first states where the pilot will be tested. Americans typically spend around $11 billion each year on tax preparation services. Around 3,700 casino workers in Detroit walked off the job Tuesday after the casinos and unions failed to reach a deal for better wages. All three of the affected casinos, the MGM Grand, Motor City Casino Hotel, and Hollywood Casino at Greektown, say they'll stay open despite the strike. The move comes more than a month after auto workers in Michigan and some other states began targeted strikes against the big three U.S. automakers. And soon, some lucky bidders may be able to follow the Yellow Brick Road to an auction of rare items from the Wizard of Oz film. The family of actor Ray Bulger, who played the Scarecrow, is selling the sheet music to the songs Over the Rainbow and If I Only Had a Brain. Those items, along with letters and cards from former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis, Britain's Queen Mother, and Harry Houdini, are all part of the auction from Lionheart Autographs, which will run until November 1st. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Jared Hill. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 231 points. The NASDAQ off 151. The S&P 500 is off 39. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you can call for action right now at 608 270 2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Up next, your ag prices along with Gary and the complete forecast. And then today on Live at 4, fall is here and pumpkin everything is popping up all over. Nutritionist Donna Wyoffen joins us with some great pumpkin-based recipes. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 co-pays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and a free fitness membership at more than 20,000 locations. Call 1-866-249-1748 now to request your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-866-249-1748. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. After 118 years, McGann Furniture is closing its doors. The owners are retiring. Shop now at McGann's Price Crash Going Out of Business Sale and take an additional 25% off the already lowest marked sale price. Everything must go. Prices crashed on quality name brand furniture, bedding, dining room sets, and accessories. Free financing. All credit welcome. Special sale hours. Hurry in today to the Price Crash Going Out of Business Sale at McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. You'll be glad you did. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Tell your mama, your grandmama, get your cats, your dogs, the Jennifer Hudson Show is on. Tiffany Thiessen is here, plus a young author inspired by her own Afro. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. 
Thursday at 10. I'm taking you behind the scenes for a fascinating look at how scientists track COVID in our wastewater. Wastewater actually tells us a really great story. The Signal in the Sewer, Thursday on News 3 Now at 10. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She'll be back on Monday. Here are your farm numbers. Researchers at Johns Hopkins are studying the link between breast cancer and alcohol. They say drinking could increase the chances of cancer for women of all ages. Natalie Brand explains how scientists are trying to pinpoint why and who is most at risk. Jessica Budkara is living with metastatic breast cancer. I would be lying to say that it's not something that you don't think about constantly. Her first diagnosis came at age 37. Nearly four years later, she learned it had spread. I started reevaluating any negative kind of vices that all of us have. That includes alcohol, a known risk factor for cancer. There are hundreds of studies that show there's a direct association between consumption of alcohol and breast cancer risk. Dr. Cynthia Zano, a breast cancer survivor herself and researcher at Johns Hopkins, is trying to dig into why. We're looking at how the alcohol alters our DNA. And the reason we're doing that is we'd like to know who's at risk. The American Cancer Society says women who have one alcoholic drink a day have a 7 to 10 percent increase in risk. Up to three drinks a day, 20% higher risk. And while cancer prevention guidelines say it's best not to drink alcohol, it's recommended women limit their intake to no more than one drink a day. Be mindful of how much you drink and how often. I want to raise awareness for my daughter and for other women just to know that this is one thing that we can change. Jessica Butkara now stocks her fridge with alternatives to alcohol and indulges in extreme moderation. It's really just being intentional and deliberate and being a lot more aware. Her cancer is responding to treatment and she's taking every step possible to live a long, healthy life. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And scientists say younger women might be especially vulnerable because breast tissue is most sensitive to environmental exposures from the start of menstruation to their first pregnancy. Now, Let's head over to the Weather Center. Maybe some rain in our forecast. Yeah, in fact, we're actually seeing a few light sprinkles through far northwestern portions of Dane County, north of Cross Plains and Black Earth, heading up toward Portage and Poinette. A little more concentrated bands of showers now moving through the Dells right along I-90-94. And then uh, farther out to the west looks like another band just uh, north and west of Richland Center. And to the south, just some light sprinkles uh, moving through Grant County uh, from Boscobel down toward Platteville. Looks like another little shower heading 
heading over toward Darlington. So nothing heavy, but just about all of us should see rain at some point this afternoon. It's not going to be a white, you know, a continuous rain, but they expect the possibility for some scattered showers. And you can see these bands of showers kind of rotating around an area of low pressure across Minnesota. So that'll be the case for tonight and tomorrow as well. And on six hour future track radar, you can see the rain kind of expanding a little bit as it pushes into Wisconsin, a little surge of moisture. Those southerly winds might uh, bring a little more widespread shower activity later this afternoon, especially east of Madison. But again, you can see the next band of showers out to the west. So uh, be prepared for the possibility for some scattered showers. But while we'll see them off and on this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, and then again, maybe Friday night into early Saturday morning, it's not going to add up to a lot. Uh, maybe a quarter to a half inch up toward Green Bay, around a tenth to a quarter of an inch. We've been showing this for the last couple of days across south central Wisconsin. So again, nothing like what we saw last week. And the farther south and west you go, especially in the southwestern Wisconsin, more likely that the amounts will be probably less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Three things you need to know in the forecast, those showers again through Thursday night and then again Friday night into early Saturday morning. Uh, then after the showers move out, it'll be cool for the weekend. High temperatures will be in the lower to middle 50s, but nighttime low temperatures will drop into the middle 30s. And then we'll see some more showers next week from Tuesday through Friday. But take a look at this Friday night into Saturday morning of next weekend. It might be cold enough to see some flakes of snow mix in with the showers. This is right about on schedule for uh, this time of year, and I'm not looking for anything to stick to the ground, but a reminder that we are getting colder. You can see on weather track, there's little bands of showers, and you can clearly see the area of low pressure just kind of spinning across southwestern Minnesota. So as long as that's sitting there, we're going to see these bands of showers and planning your day for this afternoon. You can see the next band of showers coming in from the west into southwestern Wisconsin by about 3 p.m., moving through Madison, probably moving east of Madison by about 6 p.m. We'll see a few scattered showers popping up around 9 p.m. And then maybe a little bit of a break as we head toward midnight with uh, uh, at least some breaks in the clouds before the next batch of showers moves in later on tonight. But again, you add up all that rain through early Saturday morning, probably uh, maybe a quarter of an inch up toward uh, Beaver Dam, a tenth to a quarter of an inch in Madison, and less than a tenth of an inch over southwestern Wisconsin. Planning your afternoon, high 60 in Pine Bluff, 61 in DeForest as those showers start to move in across the rest of southern Wisconsin. Janesville might hit 68 before the rain moves in. Lone Rock at 62. For tonight, look for a low temperature of 48 with scattered showers showers and for tomorrow some more scattered showers high temperature topping out of 59 so a little cooler than today and as we look at the first one seven to ten day forecast again uh, temperatures right around 60 through Friday cooler for the weekend but after the showers move out it'll be dry then as we head into the early part of next week we'll see those temperatures come back up with some showers and by the time we get to Friday night and Saturday maybe a couple of flakes of snow mixing in with the showers. It's going to be that time. It is. All right, Gary, thank you. Okay. Well, plenty of sweets and spooky sights are coming to Hilldale later this month. The annual Halloween celebration will be held on October 29th from 3 to 5. Shops around Hilldale will have family-friendly offerings. There will be pumpkin decorating, a dance party, a meet and greet with popular characters. You can also take part in a pet costume contest and a scavenger hunt. For more information, look for this story on channel3000.com. Get ready for Universal Horror Unleashed. Universal Parks and Resorts is bringing Halloween to Las Vegas year-round. Universal Horror Unleashed will feature classic horror characters such as Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Mummy. It'll also be surrounded by haunted-themed bars and eateries by night. The experience will be located at the city's immersive Area 15 Entertainment District, but an opening date has yet to be announced. Calling all Chick-fil-A lovers, feeling nostalgic for some of their discontinued food items. Well, now you can recreate these dishes at home because Chick-fil-A has released its first digital cookbook. It's called Extra Helpings, Inspiring Stories, and Imaginative Recipes from Chick-fil-A's Shared Table. The free book was put together in hopes of raising awareness of food insecurities and food waste. Speaking of which, there's more to come on Newsery Now at noon. Up next, we'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Have you ever paid someone with dessert? I have, and it was welcomed with open arms. Stick around for the story, and the sweetest can be recipe. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What can our foam do for your home? You'll be warm and comfortable inside, even when it's freezing outside. Your furnace will run less, keeping your heating bills lower. You'll have consistent temperatures throughout the whole house. 
and those annoying outside noises won't be nearly as loud. Upgrading your installation upgrades your life. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. Interested in an electric vehicle? Connect with the team that is leading the charge, Berkshire Automotive. Whether it's EVs like Lyric, Lightning, Hummer, ID4, or hundreds of others, Berkshire has the largest selection of electric vehicles in Wisconsin and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Berkshire Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. Get 11% off everything at Menards. October is Fire Safety Month. From smoke and carbon monoxide alarms to fire extinguishers and more. Kitta Home Safety Products keep your family protected in case of emergencies. A worry-free 10-year smoke alarm is $19.97 after rebate. Update your home with new flooring from Tarkat. Choose from our great selection of waterproof vinyl plank, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and durable laminate flooring. Bravado Laminate Flooring is $1.59 per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I have a neighbor who's a plumber, and a while back he helped me fix a leaky faucet. When I asked him what I owed him, he said, don't worry, just make me a dessert sometime and we'll call it even since you know how much I love sweets. So after thinking about what to make, this easy Italian-inspired layer cake came to mind. To make it, we start by beating a box of white cake mix with some eggs, buttermilk, and oil. After that's mixed, we stir in a good amount of coconut and chop pecans. And rather than making this just two layers, we made it into three so that each layer is nice and delicate. While they bake and cool, we mix together some store-bought cream cheese frosting with more chopped pecans. At this point, it's time to drizzle some rum over each layer before frosting it. After all three layers have been stacked, all that's left to do is frost the sides and top. Maybe garnish it with a few pecans. What you end up with is a simple but elegant cake that's just as welcome after some homemade manicotte as it is with a tall glass of milk. To get the recipe for our Italian cream cake, all you have to do is check out our website. Let me tell you, my neighbor loved his cake so much that every time mm. I see him, he hints for me to make him another. <laughs> I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen where today we found a sweeter way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Good? Delicious. Here's Gary with one final look at the forecast. Well, the clouds are rolling in now. There's the live view from the WISC TV sky cam. Mostly cloudy skies here. The sun is pretty much gone. The Platteville Queen Bee Radio sky cam showing a few showers in the distance, but they're just uh, scattered around. You can see some light showers moving through the Dells right now. A little bit of a break. Some more showers out around Richland Center. A few sprinkles around Platteville moving over toward Darlington. But here in Dane County, the only showers we've seen have been in the northwestern part of the county. Madison has been dry so far. But while there's no rain east of Madison, more showers will be moving in from the west. And you can see six hour future track radar showing more showers, especially as we head toward the eastern portion of our viewing area. Right, keep the umbrella handy. Thank you, Gary. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here at 4. Have a great afternoon.